Hello and welcome to my review of the goodies, the complete BBC collection. Today we're on to the episode Commonwealth Games. With the British Commonwealth shrinking, the boys are asked to participate in the Commonwealth Games against the one remaining Commonwealth country, August Bank Holiday Island, with the winner to take over the Commonwealth. However, despite the boys' best efforts, Britain loses. And with a new country heading up the Commonwealth, all the countries that had previously left it now want to come back. This episode feels like a very pointed satire about the demise of the British Empire and imperialism and the Commonwealth. Um, at one stage they even say in the episode it's the end of the British Empire. This does feel like a much more political episode and Tim takes on the role of the uh, more unsympathetic um, old-fashioned imperialist type of um, upper-class Britain, very much um, in contrast to Bill and they have a bit of antagonism there. This episode also sees Tim's second um, patriotic speech with Land of Hope and Glory. Um, this one is a little bit tricky. It contains some uh, uh, old-timey uh, racist, you know, slurs like uh, WAP and stuff like that. Um, but I felt like they were very much um, making fun of that attitude. And this is kind of pointed out just, you know, a few moments later when... Um, Bill attacks um, Tim for his attitude as, you know, fascist, reactionary, etc, etc. I think they're very much kind of taking aim at that old imperialist attitude. Also notable in this episode, Tim's second Bake Bean ad parody. Uh, one thing I thought was very well done in this episode was the amazing set of the um, politician's office they go to visit and his office is actually inside Big Ben, inside the clock. Um, and the set is very lavish and it looks very expensive. We also see the sombreros again in this episode when the boys are arriving on the island on their um, bike by helicopter. Um, they are very briefly seen wearing the sombreros again. Guest stars in this episode are Reginald Marsh as the politician and Valerie Stanton as his secretary. I can't say I know either of these two actors. So this episode was new to me and it is in black and white. I'm not really sure why it's in black and white, but this was the same situation with the other episode that I'd never seen before, the Playgirl Club. And unfortunately, my reaction to this episode was kind of like my reaction to the Playgirl Club. It just kind of didn't really work for me, unfortunately. There's just a slightly off feeling about this episode and I I struggle to, to say exactly what it is, but it just has a lot of elements in it that don't really work. Um, there's a, an early bit when they go outside to get on the tram, and there's this whole kind of uh, awkward comedy bit where I'm not really sure what they're trying to do. It looks like, you know, they all get on the bike on, in the wrong positions, but it just doesn't really come off, unfortunately. And then there is a second bit on the bike um, of physical comedy, and that didn't really work either. It's kind of unusual for the goodies. Um, you know, once in a while they'll have something that doesn't really work, but this episode just seems to have a lot of those things in it. I was trying to figure out why I'd never seen this episode, and I think it has to do with the secretary. Um, and there's this very awkward, um, you know, attempted gag about how none of the other um, British, you know, sports people um, who seem to be old politicians, I'm not really sure why, um, could make the team because they failed the sex test and the sex test involves them going into the bedroom with the secretary who's wearing underwear and um, it just was really odd and awkward and when the politician asks um, if the goodies you know will take the test or could they pass the test test uh, the secretary whispers something into the politician's ear uh, with the implication that she's actually already slept with all of the goodies that morning. Um, I just don't know what to do with that. Like, it's the implication that they've all had a, an orgy or I don't know. It just, you know, I just don't, I didn't really care for that bit. Uh, it was just kind of a bit sleazy. And I think even as comedy, it just didn't really come off. It pains me to have to say this again after Playgirl Club. 
But yeah, I, I didn't really find this episode very funny and I was kind of waiting for it to end. There's just a lot of um, drawn out, you know, physical comedy bits that, that don't really, this don't really work that well, I, I felt in this episode. I was a bit worried about um, what the representation of the islanders might be like. Um, you know, I was concerned there might be blackface. Um, they actually do feature actors of colour in this episode, but they're just given nothing to do. Overall, I would say Commonwealth Games is a pretty disappointing episode. It's just not up there with the goodies usual standard. Even the songs in this episode um, were not great. And, you know, I love Bill's music. I really love it so much. But even the, the songs in this one were just not quite up to standard. So I'm not really sure what happened. But I guess everyone has an off day. So let's just write this one off as one of those. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you'll join me next time when we move on to the episode where the boys tackle um, in the environment in pollution. Thank you so much and I hope I'll see you then. Bye.